Hello. This tutorial will show you how to create an ASP.NET MVC application using Visual Studio 2017, containing pages using Vue and without the huge overhead of the NPM and Webpack frameworks. Currently it is possible to install Webpack inside Visual Studio, but using Webpack for a web application has a lot of drawbacks. Node.js and NPM have to be installed on your computer. Webpack will transpile your JavaScript code into a code that is not so easily debuggable inside the browser using the F12 developer's tools. Webpack requires a lot of extra tools to function properly. There will be a lot of extra files that your application will have to carry around when deploying to another environment. First, you have to have Visual Studio 2017 installed on your computer. Any addition will be able to support Vue, so you can use the free version of Visual Studio if you are not part of that lucky elite having access to an MSDN license. To learn how to download and install the free edition of Visual Studio, I suggest that you follow any of the many YouTube tutorials. Now, presuming that you already have Visual Studio 2017 installed and ready to go, let's start. Go ahead and open Visual Studio. Create a new project of type ASP.NET Web Application using C Sharp as a base programming language. Give it any name and then click Create. Select MVC in the project templates and check the Web API also. Select No Authentication if that is not coming selected by default. Don't select Add Unit Tests because you can add a Unit Tests project any time after this. After the project gets created, right click on the Project References folder and click on the Manage NuGet Packages. After NuGet Package Manager opened, select the Browse tab and search for VUE. Select the View NuGet package which is usually the first in the search results list and click Install. After the installation is done, notice that two new files were added to the scripts folder view.js and view.min.js. Before we continue, let's do some clean up to eliminate any other MVC related stuff and to be able to concentrate only on view within MVC, expand the views directory and then the home directory. For the purpose of this tutorial we don't need the about and contacts views. Please remove them. Go ahead and open the index view. Select all text inside this page and remove everything because we want to start fresh. Save the file. Open the home controller from the controllers folder and remove the about and contacts methods from the class. Save this file. In the views folder expand the shared folder. Open the underscore layout.cshtml file. In the body area, please remove everything else but the line containing the render body. Save this file. Before we continue, let's test the application by pressing F5. If you followed my steps, you'll see an empty page. Stop the application. Go back to the layout page. Drag and drop the view.min.js file right before the end of the head section and after all other scripts and CSS links. Save this file. By doing this, the MVC views using this layout will now have access to the full power of the view framework. In part 2 of this tutorial, we will continue with creating a simple view application.